Hi everyone, welcome to Key to Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can create a subdomain in your hosting or dashboard. So let's understand what is subdomain. So if I create something like land.key2blogging.com then in that case this is a subdomain. So let me just show you. So if you add something like lan or blog.example.com then that is called a subdomain and if you add forward slash and then add a folder then it, that is called a subfolder. So you can create unlimited number of subdomain inside your domain. So if you go to the hosting or and select the shared hosting plan and here you can see you will get single web hosting, premium web hosting and in single web hosting you will get two subdomain for free and you can create 100 subdomain in the premium web hosting plan. So if you want to get the hosting or then you can use the link in the description and use the coupon code to get 10% discount. So let's check how you can create the subdomain in Hostinger. So for this we are going to log into Hostinger as panel and I will click on the hosting button here. Now let's click on manage here and here you will see the IP address of your website. So for this let's scroll down and click on the subdomain here and you need to add the name of your subdomain. So in my case I will add like lan.k2blogging.com and then I will check on the custom folder for subdomain. So it will create a separate folder in your database. So you can easily identify the files in your subdomain. So I can name the file like lan desk to blogging. You can basically add any name in the directory field. This is to remember the folder name. So we have added lan desk to blogging and in subdomain we have added the lan so it will add like lan.k2blogging.com so let's click on create button so it will take some time so let's wait okay the subdomain is now created in our hosting or panel so to install wordpress in that subdomain we are going to click on website here and click on auto installer so just click on here and before that let's activate the SSL certificate so for this let's click on the SSL here and as you can see there is no SSL here so let's click on manage and it is saying auto installation attempt 1 by 26 failed okay it is checking the SSL certificate so it will automatically add the SSL certificate after 9 minutes so we can skip this so before that let's install the WordPress first so for this let's click on the website field here and I I will click on auto installer here. Now I will select the WordPress here. Now I can add a website title like LAN key to blogging like this and I can add a administrative email address here and I can add the administrative username and I can generate a password. So let's add a password suggested by Google so I have added a password here now let's click on advance here and you can change the HTTP to HTTPS and here you can select the subdomain here so don't click on the main domain you have to select the subdomain here now you, you can create a database password so let's create a new database for our subdomain so I will click on new database and I can add a database password here and I will click on next. Now here you will see this option install wordpress in lan.k2blogging.com and here you can select the language and the, it has automatically selected the PHP version and showing the disk space and you can always update to latest version available or you can disable the automatic application update so i will keep it as recommended and i will click on install so it will take some time to install the wordpress in our newly created subdomain so it is creating the subdomain okay now the wordpress is an activated in our subdomain we need to point that subdomain to the hostinger so for this i will log into my cloudflare dashboard and if you are um, using the 
GoDaddy then you can go to the DNS manager of GoDaddy so for this you can just click on the DNS so let me just click on back here and I will select the domain here now let's click on DNS here and I will create a new A record and in the name field I will add the same like LAN and in IP address I will copy that IP address from the dashboard or I can just copy my old IP address so the IP address will be same for both domain and subdomain so I will add the IP address like this and I will click on save changes ok I have added the new subdomain a record in my cloud cloudflare or you can use the same technique to add the a record in your godaddy account or namecheap account so after adding the a record let's go to the hosting or edge panel and it is saying that it will take around 24 hour to successfully propagate the name server ok i am back after 10 to 15 minutes and let's check what's the status of the name server so for this i will click on the hosting here and i will click on manage here and then i will click on wordpress dashboard and under the drop down menu i will select the subdomain here and it is still saying the same so we can install the ssl certificate from cloudflare to make it quick so let's scroll down and let's log into cloudflare and get a ssl certificate so before that let me just log into the subdomain like this lan.k2blogging.com and as you can see we have logged into lan.k2blogging.com and it's saying ssl handshake failed so to fix this we have to create a ssl certificate in cloudflare and then add that ssl certificate to hostinger so in some cases the install ssl certificate doesn't work so if you install the wordpress using the https so for this let's log into cloudflare and i will click on the ssl slash tls and here you will see this option origin server so just click on origin server here and we can create a ssl certificate so let's click on create certificate and let's close this one and i can type like lan lan.k2blogging.com so we will add the ssl certificate in subdomain so i will add my subdomain like this and i will click on create button and the validity of the certificate is 15 years and here you will see this option origin certificate and private key so let's go to the hosting or dashboard and i will go to the hosting section here let's click on manage here now scroll down and here you will see this option ssl so where it is this one is ssl in advanced tab so just click on ssl here now it is saying that ssl failed so let's click on here and let's click on uninstall okay ssl is now uninstall let's pass install the ssl certificate again otherwise we can import that ssl certificate from cloudflare so let's click on install again and it will take some time so it is saying installing and it's as you can see ssl installation failed um, due to some technical reasons in hostinger so let's uninstall this one and we have ssl certificate from hostinger in our main domain but we have to add the ssl certificate in the subdomain so i will click on import ssl certificate and here i will choose the subdomain here and let's go to the cloudflare and just copy the origin certificate and i will click on here like this and let's click on private key so let's let's copy the private key here and i will add the private key like this now let's click on install ssl and as you can see the ssl is now successfully installed in our subdomain 
and it is saying active so if your hosting guard is doesn't activating the ssl in the custom subdomain then you can create a ssl certificate using the cloudflare and then import that certificate to your subdomain now let's go to the website and let's refresh this page and as you can see the ssl certificate is now activated and we have logged into our website so let's go to the backend so i will type like so let's add wp admin okay now we have logged into our backend in subdomain as you can see lan.k2 blogging so let me just add my subdomain here and i will add my password here okay so you need to remember the password that you have added in in the time of installation of the subdomain so let's click on save here and the fresh wordpress install is now added in subdomain now let's go to the plugin section and i will click on whole here plugin here and i will click on deactivate and let's click on apply now let's click on the tick button and i will click on delete and i will click on okay so it will delete all the pre-installed plugins in our website now let's go to the post here and i will delete this post here now let's go to the settings and let's click on permalink here and i will click on post name here and i will click on save changes okay now you have learned how to create a subdomain how to install wordpress on that subdomain and how to get ssl certificate either you can get ssl certificate using the hosting or panel or you can create a ssl certificate in cloudflare and import that ssl certificate to your subdomain and in the next video i will show you how you can create a landing page in your wordpress website so for that just may hit the subscribe button to get the update of upcoming videos and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button thank you